couple of days ago, we detailed something that was brand new to Nocturne until and after nearly a decade of everything not being touched, Zombies Chronicles was promising a few things here and there that would add a little bit more to the gameplay feature, but not take away from the core mechanics of the gameplay itself and the storyline overall. So these minor additions are something that are added for a separate little quest, something just to challenge you a little bit more, but not necessarily take away from what the maps stand for overall in the storyline. And this is another little designation of such as that we saw of Nocturne Toten, but this time it is on Shinonuma. So this now prompts the question, are there more of these little Easter eggs on all of the classic maps? Maybe that meaning there's one on Verrucked, perhaps even moving over into the Black Ops 1 maps, and maybe even in Origins. At this point, who knows? It seems like with two new additions though, it could be very likely that these then transfer over to the other maps. So that then prompts the major hunts to find these little hide and seek Easter eggs that we've seen now on Nocturne Toten and Shinonuma. So in this one, I'm going to show you guys how to do the Shinonuma one. It's actually rather easy compared to the Nocturne Toten one. So let's jump right into it. First, what you need to do is you need to open up the wing extending out through the flogger and then go head over to where the perk machine is at the hut at the edge of that open that up I think from start to finish it's about 2750 for all the doors moving out of spawn then through the flogger and then up into the hut so if you can get that you can actually do this on say round two and maybe even round one if you have the right setup but once you're there you're gonna want to look for four frying pans hanging on the walls and shoot each of them it doesn't matter what order you do so long as all four of them are shot and then you'll get the sound of Thunder audio cue once again as you do with all this kind of stuff telling you guys that you've completed something and then all you have to do is go into the back room the side room and there's a pile of trash and it's actually kind of tough to spot at first but there is once again a Samantha's doll laying right in there all you have to do is go up to it hold square or X depending on the console and when you see this video to interact with the doll and it'll queue up once again the hide and seek Easter egg that we saw in Nocturne Toten and it performs the exact same way so you're gonna have those audio cues once again the pop-up music box sounding music getting louder as you get closer to the proximity of the doll and the nice part about this one is that thus far at least in the times that I've tried it it's only stuck around right outside of the hut basically along that strip of wood that doesn't take you into the swamp it's more so on those posts and you just have to keep going back and forth and finding it so it's not too much of a struggle as where Nocturne Toten kind of had some points where it was really hard to find the doll but these ones from the ones that I've seen are basically all out in the open so it shouldn't be too hard and once again all you have to do is shoot these they'll teleport and vanish into thin air and go to a different post and whenever you finish them the say five or six ones that you have to shoot you'll once again be prompted with that thunder audio cue and then once it disappears and you get that audio cue go back to the original pile of trash where you initially found the doll and it will be spinning right there standing up once again all you have to do is interact with it one more time and then a skeleton hand will come up push it up and then drag the doll into the ground and you'll get a max ammo as well as be prompted with an easter egg song on Shino Numa. So that's really all there is to this one. Once again, it's rather easy, much easier than that of the Nocturne Totem one, I believe at least, and you can try it for yourself. Once again, it is something that if you do it right, you can do it on round two, maybe even one. I did it on round two, but it was something that I'm sure there's definitely ways to get there easier, especially if you want to use some gobble gums, but a lot of people might not be too fond of that. But all that said, that is going to give you the brand new Easter egg on Shinonuma. After once again, almost a decade, we now have another Easter egg introduced into Shinonuma. And I'm really excited to see where these little ones can take us, whether there's more across all the other maps or if this is an isolated incident along with Nocturne Toten. But honestly, I think that this might point towards these being on every map, if not at least just a few more. But all that said, another way, that's where we're going to wrap it up. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys happy that there's smaller little easter eggs being added into the classic maps or you guys not a fan of it do you guys want there to be just the classic maps as they are nothing really added or touched to them love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below of course there's no right or wrong answer it's all preference so feel free to drop whatever and of course if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding zombies chronicles zombies in general black ops 3 multiplayer modern warfare master call of duty world war 2 all that good stuff we got you covered here up on the channel i want to thank you guys truly so much for the support it has been absolutely phenomenal and just my blowing the amount of support and the amount of new people to the channel so welcome if you guys are new thank you guys so much for supporting and enjoying the content i'm really glad you guys are enjoying it but if you guys want to also get connected with me here outside of youtube i practically live on twitter so if you guys want to check up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below if you guys want to toss a follow but i'll see you dudes later thank you guys so much for watching my name is Nicolai espresso hopefully you guys are having a great day take care and peace